Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll show you 10 essential Jupyter Notebook shortcuts that will save you time and make coding faster. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, these shortcuts will supercharge your workflow. Let's dive in. So let us see how to run a cell quickly. So instead of clicking the run button, just press shift plus enter to run a cell. If you want to run and insert a new cell below, press alt plus enter. Jupyter has two modes, the command and the edit mode. So the command mode has blue border and the edit mode has a green border. So if you want to switch between these two modes, you should use the following shortcuts. To switch to command mode, you should uh, press the escape key and to switch to edit mode, you should press the enter key. Need a new cell? No need to click the plus button. Just use escape plus A to enter a cell above escape plus b to enter a cell below or escape plus d plus d to delete the current cell if you want to copy cut and paste cells like a pro follow these shortcuts escape plus c to copy a cell escape plus x to cut cell and escape plus v to paste cell below if your output gets too clustered you can clear it using escape plus o to hide or show output and escape plus shift plus o to clear the output Need to replace a variable name across your notebook? Use this shortcut. Ctrl plus F to find the text and Ctrl plus H to find and replace. Want to break a big cell into two or combine two small ones? Use Ctrl plus Shift plus minus to split the cell and Escape plus Shift plus M to merge the selected cells. If you want to make your code easier to read by showing line numbers, then press the Escape plus L button to toggle line numbers on or off. If your notebook crashes, do not worry, you can restart it quickly. For that, just press escape plus zero plus zero to restart the kernel. If you don't want to lose your progress, you can save your notebook anytime with control plus S. Now let me show you how you can use uh, the shortcuts in a Jupyter notebook. So first, uh, the first shortcut was running a cell without clicking on the run button. So for that, let me write a print command. So I'm writing print hello world. Now how we can run this code is we can uh, simply press shift plus enter. See you have got the output of hello world. The next command was uh, of switching modes between the edit and the command modes. So the green mode shows the uh, edit mode and this one is in blue mode. Uh, so it shows the command mode. So if I want to switch from command mode to the edit mode I need to press enter see from the command mode I have switched to edit mode in the edit mode you can edit the code and if I want to switch back to the command code uh, command mode I need to click on escape see I have switched back to the command mode so the third shortcut was of inserting a new cell above or below so for inserting a new cell above what we need to do is we need to uh, press escape plus a see I've added a new cell above and if I want to add a new cell below what I'll do is I'll write escape plus b so it's very easy to remember as the word above begins with a so does the command escape plus a and as the word begin and as the word below begins with b so does the command escape plus b so the fourth uh, shortcut was related to copy cut or pasting a cell so for that what I'll do is for copying you need to just click escape plus C. I have copied the code and then if I'll use the shortcut key escape plus V C I pasted the code and if I want to like cut the cell then what I'll do is I'll do escape plus X and if I want to again paste it escape plus V. So it is quite similar to the general cut copy paste command uh, shortcut key we use that is control C, control V or control X. Similarly in Jupyter we, we are just replacing uh, the control command with the escape command. So over here for cut it is uh, escape plus X, for copy it is escape plus C and for paste it is escape plus V. Now the fifth shortcut is related to clearing the output using the escape plus O. So let me try escape plus O. See I cleared the command. So for clearing the output what you will do is escape and since output starts with O so escape plus O. 
accessing a variable so if we want to find a variable what you can do is control plus f and i already tried finding the variable hello so let me try finding the variable world so wherever the variable world is present it will be highlighted so the next one is uh, splitting a cell into two using control plus shift plus minus so i have this cell what i'll do is control plus shift plus minus see i have split the uh, input and the output part into two cells now if i want to merge cells then what i'll do is i'll write is i'll use escape plus shift plus m escape plus shift plus m see i have merged two cells and it has given me a larger cell then if i want to toggle the line numbers then what i'll do is i'll do escape plus l see there are like three rows in this cell if i i can also try you the toggling number in this cell as well escape plus l see as this code only takes one row so the number line number one has been shown so again this is very simple to remember as the word line begins with l so the command is escape plus l next shortcut was of restarting the kernel so for that i need to use the shortcut key escape plus zero zero see i have got a command restart kernel do you want to restart the current kernel all variables will be lost so let me click restart and then in the end if i want to save the jupyter file what i'll do is control plus s see this has been auto saved that's it guys these shortcuts will make your jupyter notebook experience much smoother if you found this helpful don't forget to like subscribe and comment your favorite shortcut see you in the next video